Act of Comedy, please go wild for the pub landlord, Mr Al Murray! Beautiful audience. Hey, look at this Muppet shot of a front row as well. Fantastic. <laughs> hey, what's your name, sir? On the end. James. James, beautiful British name. What do you do, sir? I'm a translator. You're a translator. Fantastic. What language? Spanish and English. Spanish and English? What's the point? <laughs> <laughs> I've spent some time wasted in my time. You are top of the pile, aren't you, pal? <laughs> do what's the base, that's poor favor. Job done. <laughs> Two beers, please. That's it. That's all there is to it. <laughs> it's not like we're going to have a war with Spain, is there? You're surplus to requirements, aren't you, pal? <laughs> Welcome. Great to have you. You are beautiful people, though. Hey, and it's great to have all these young, these young faces here. Yeah, these young faces and the, the grey hair in the second row there, the gentleman. <laughs> you right there, Pops? <laughs> you warming up? <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear me? <laughs> Do you remember the things I've said? <laughs> you remember the war? <laughs> The thing is, Pops, eh? These kids in this front, I look at them all, mother's milk wet on their face. These kids, <laughs> right? They're not like you. When you was a lad, Pops, you had stuff to look forward to, didn't you, when you was a youngster, didn't you? Yeah? Stuff to look forward to, like winning World War II, like, <laughs> <laughs> like Elvis's music being discovered, the Beatles. <laughs> all these kids have got to look forward to nowadays, living in Britain, right now, is the 2012 Olympics. <laughs> and let's be honest, it's going to be a bit shit, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's be honest now. In it, in it, Sally. Let's be honest now. It's going to be a bit of shit, isn't it, love? Yeah, yeah cos the Chinese... Yeah, the Chinese... The Chinese! The Chinese! The Chinese! The Chinese! The Chinese! The Chinese! <laughs> did a brilliant job, didn't they? Last year, amazing job, wasn't it, Sally? It was a fantastic job, 2008. Yeah, it's incredible what you can do with no human rights and a billion slave labourers. <laughs> 2012 Olympics, it's, gonna, it's not going to be brilliant, is it? Because health and safety are going to get hold of it. Yeah, they're going to put in ramps, aren't they? For the hurdles, love. Aren't they? That's what's going to happen. <laughs> They'll do a risk assessment on the javelin, aren't they? You're not going to throw that, are you? <laughs> yeah, they'll fill in the swimming pool, won't they? Yeah, risk of death from drowning. They'll fill in the swimming pool. Not only that, the teachers will say, no, 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 we can't have anyone winning any races. It'll upset the others. <laughs> The 2012 Olympics, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, to be honest, it's going it's to be a bit of shit. And I worry about these, I worry about these kids. Yeah? Yeah, the young lad here with the flop, with the flop, the floppy. <laughs> 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 What's your name, son? Callum. Callum. Beautiful <coughs> British name. What would you do, Callum? Student. You're a student. What are you studying, young man? DT physics. DT physics and maths. Design and technology. Yeah, yeah, carpentry. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, that nail's gone in. <laughs> <laughs> physics? Yeah, well, here's all you need to know about physics, mate. That's it. <laughs> Gravity. What goes up must come down, mate. That's all you need to know about physics. Yeah, yeah well, of course, Pops, in your case, it doesn't go up as often as it used to. <laughs> yeah, what was the other one? Maths! Right, so you'll be able to count how many nails you've hammered into the piece of wood. <laughs> relying on gravity to make the hammer drop. That's what you're going to get from your three A levels, aren't you, son? <laughs> and then all that in McDonald's, not particularly helpful. <laughs> now, point this. Because I'm worried about this kid. Because you, you've got nothing to look forward to, yeah? Like Pop said, yeah? I mean, did you even believe as a god, son? Do you believe as a god? <laughs> no! You don't, yeah? You do, don't you, Pops? You believe as a god? You ought to, mate. You haven't got long. It's time to make a <laughs> Point this. Seriously, old man. <laughs> you don't believe as a god? You don't believe there's a God. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, I will prove for you now, right, live on stage here this evening, that there is a God. Yeah, and I'm not going to use Bible blah blah or Vicar Waffle, right? Yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use common sense reasoning from within my brain, right? And when I prove that there's a God, I want you to stand on your feet, turn to this audience and say, I believe. Yeah? You up for that? <laughs> Good boy. Excellent. <laughs> Thanks for volunteering. Now, the point is. <laughs> The point is this, there's obviously a God. I see proof of God's existence in creation every single day. The beautiful butterfly's wing, the dolphin cresting the wave, the smallpox virus in action. Wherever I see, <laughs> wherever I look, 
I see the existence of God, right? Yeah? And I, I mainly know there's a God using common sense every time I look in the sky and see a jumbo jet flying in the sky, right? Because I know nothing about physics. I know nothing about lift, thrust, drag, aerodynamic coefficients between different aerofoil surfaces, <laughs> about thrust vectors from engines. I know nothing about any of that, bollocks. Right? <laughs> I've never even heard of any of it. But what I do know, without a shadow of a doubt, is that a jumbo jet is too heavy to get off the ground, isn't it? It's too heavy to fly. It's too, isn't it, James? It's too heavy. I'm too heavy to fly. Look, I cannot fly. <laughs> <laughs> Happen, is it? I'll try to run up. It's not happening. I am not able to fly. James, try and fly for me, sir. Try and fly. Go on. Tr get up and try and fly. Go on. Try and fly. James, fly. Fly, sir. Fly. 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 You can't fly. You see? You're too heavy to fly. I'm too heavy to fly. But we'll happily get an aeroplane with a load of other people who are too heavy to fly and expected to get off the ground. Yeah, it's full of luggage. It's made of metal, it's not made of feathers, it shouldn't fly. A jumbo jet is too bloody heavy to get off the ground. And this is where divine intervention comes in, where God comes in. So that jumbo jet gets to the end of the runway. <laughs> and prepares to take off. At this precise moment, God is up in heaven looking down. From heaven, now no one knows where that is, it could be in the sky, it could be in space. Maybe it's behind the moon, personally. I think it's behind the moon. What's going on? They nearly saw me, that was close. Lightning, that disappeared again. Look that. God's up in heaven, and he looks down to the runway, and he hears a sound coming from the aeroplane. Not the sound of the engines powering up for takeoff, no, the sound of incessant fervent praying please god make it get off the ground please i want to go on holiday i don't want to catch fire at the end of the runway in the fence please make it fly please god please 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 like that and that's just the crew god hears this <laughs> god hears this and he's reminded of something he's reminded of a promise he made to mankind over a hundred years ago on september the 17th 1903 because on september the 17th 1903 god was up in heaven looking down at the world, and he heard two men arguing. Two men rowing with one another. He looked down, and he could see they were arguing over this strange contraption on the ground. This weird thing with wings and a tail and an engine. <laughs> they were rowing with each other. He looked at it and thought, well, that's not going to fly, is it? That's never going to fly. It'd be reasonable. I mean, it's got wings, but the wings don't even flap. Hey, he's got all those birds flying around as a clue. What a tragic waste. <laughs> hey, yeah, come on, that's not going to fly. And they were arguing. The Wright brothers were kicking off. No! You listen to me, you fool! There ain't no way this aeroplane gonna fly! You've done your songs wrong, it's too heavy, you fool! Mama said you was a fool, this plane never gonna fly! No, you're the fool! You're the fool, Earl Wright! I'm gonna give this plane fly around this prairie, land this plane and kick your fool's ass! No, you're the fool! I've seen a horse fly, I've seen a house fly, why? I've even seen an elephant fly! There ain't no fool getting in no plane! <laughs> brothers, now, God heard this. <laughs> I think they're going to kill each other. Well, I've got to step in. So at the precise moment of takeoff, he reached down with his almighty right hand, picked up the aeroplane, and carried it round the prairie. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> like that. Now who's the fool? <laughs> And as a result, mankind achieved its first ever powered flight. But God had snookered himself, hadn't he? Because from that moment on, he's obliged to make every other plane that flies according to those physical principles fly. And that's why the 20th century turned to shit. Because God was too busy juggling aeroplanes to listen to us, wasn't he? <laughs> All day, every day, Heathrow Airport. Oh, Christ, stuck in practice off me. <laughs> busy down here. Oh, stands to this. Oh, get me. Get me. Oh, quick. Shoreham Airport. Oh, just. <laughs> Was won. Now, go, go Heathrow all day. That's why we won the Battle of Britain, isn't it? That's why the British won the Battle of Britain, because God, being British, was dropping German aeroplanes on the slide. Well, he, oh, there goes his Mr. Smith. <laughs> and that proves the existence of God, doesn't it, son? Yeah, using common sense. On your feet, turn to this audience and say, I believe. <laughs> on your feet, boy. That's it. I believe there's a God. Good boy. Fantastic. <laughs> Beautiful. There you go, Pops have sorted that for you. It's been my pleasure drinking, but I hope to see you again. Please take your glasses. <laughs>